Fortunately, we actually saw things improve. The latest drought monitor was actually released yesterday and it went from 40% of the state of Nevada in an exceptional drought to 32% of the state. So that's a minor improvement that at least we're trending the right direction. That was the same for southern Utah. The majority of the state of Utah was considered an exceptional drought more than 98% last week. But the recent monsoon rain that we've had helping to improve conditions in southern Utah as well. Now we're still seeing extreme drought, so even that improvement still puts us in a place that we don't really want to be, but at least uh, we saw a minor improvement rather than things getting even worse. And with more rain on the way this weekend, that is always good news. But keep in mind the threat for flash flooding is arriving as well, so it's almost uh, too much of a good thing could produce a few problems. Desert Doppler for the Las Vegas Valley is mostly dry, but we don't have to look too far to find those storms. We have a thunderstorm right over Mount Potosi that uh, is prompting a flood advisory. So again, that means that flooding has happened and is currently happening, but it's not as high of a threat as when we see a flash flood warning. Also watching these thunderstorms tracking across searchlight, pushing further west uh, toward the uh, 15 corridor toward it looks like Mountain Pass. The flash flood watch continues through early Saturday morning. So tonight and tomorrow that flash flood threat will continue with these thunderstorms that develop. In addition to the threat for the flash flooding, we're also going to see the frequent lightning and the potentially damaging winds. So the storms that develop will definitely be on the strong side. Futurecast keeps the 50% storm chance in play through your Friday night. So it's not heavy, consistent rain for the rest of the night, but the storms that do uh, pass by will be very noticeable with those pockets of heavy rain. We'll settle down into early tomorrow morning, but tomorrow afternoon we're right back to that 40% storm chance, so don't put the umbrellas away yet. We'll keep an isolated storm chance in play on Sunday. It's kind of our transition day as the drier air moves back in. By Monday, we're back to the sunny skies and we drop storm chances out of the forecast. And you're certainly feeling the moisture out there. Our dew points are back in the upper 50s, low 60s, which is the threshold we watch for uh, in terms of the rain actually reaching the ground. So the storms that uh, pass through will definitely produce those raindrops that you will notice from here through tomorrow. Temperatures capped well below normal thanks to that increase in cloud cover and the mostly cloudy skies, the warm and muggy conditions that all continues for tonight. 50% storm chance does linger overnight into tomorrow morning with overnight low eventually falling to the 70s and tomorrow really a repeat of what we expect today. Mostly cloudy skies, scattered storms and temperatures falling about 10 degrees below normal. But by Sunday, we're starting to improve as that drier air starts to move in. But keep in mind, although we dry out in the valley on Sunday, the mountains will still pr stay pretty stormy. Sunday storm chance on Mount Charleston still still 60% that was a tongue twister, uh, but even the mountains will dry out early next week. Pattern flip brings back the sunshine and intense temperatures next week. We climb close to 110 by Wednesday. All right.